All right, so today's project is this interesting lighting situation. Um, we are standing on the deck. There's the deck. And this is kind of a corner that needs light. So we want light coming down here, which is what these lights do. Normally we would have a table here. And so it's nice to have that lighting available if we need it. But this same light fixture is also supposed to feed light out to this big area in here. Well, at least some. And you can see I used to have an old halogen fixture on there, which is now so outdated as to be ridiculous, but it's not working and it needs to go. So what we have in mind here is we're going to put a, a new fixture here that's an LED fixture. And then over here, we'll mount something similar to these two, and then we'll put LED floodlights in them. So, and in between, we'll have a conduit that runs the wire between the two, which is kind of what it is there now. But let's do that. Let's walk through it here. So <laughs> the bulbs are old enough that this one actually, the uh, screw-in part broke off. So no problem, we're going to get rid of that fixture anyway. But time for them to get um, upgraded. All right, so this is a closer view of it. You can see there's cobwebs all over it, but that's not a big deal. So, in the uh, previous times, I did run off of a, a logical spot here. This is an actual outlet from this junction box and um, ran over to that light. I had to use some weird fittings to be able to make that light work. Just was the way it was. But we'll get this out of here and that one out of there and then we'll start to reconfigure. All right, so nothing fancy, just a square box in there. Um, and the, lead, the regular wires coming down in here, this is all off. So here's our, our in is black, white, and ground. So this is, I've already taken that one off. So all we'll do is just take these off and this whole fixture will come off of there. All right, so here's the old fixture taken out. There's the, what it was pointing at the deck. This was pointing out at the bigger part of the yard. We're gonna replace it with this, which is a um, single purpose LED light. Hopefully that's gonna work. Um, and this one, which will go out in place of this one, it has two outlets. You can see how it looks there configured. And then here are our um, floodlights in 90 watts each. We might get bigger ones eventually, but those should do nicely out there for that yard. Okay, let's get at it. All right, so here we are at the next phase on our security lights. And this is generally the layout, is that these lights will be mounted there, and the other set will be mounted out there pointing that way. And that's, oops, sorry, that's this set here. So what I wanna do is the main wire will come through here, wire into these lights, come through that waterproof outlet or um, connector, through the conduit, into this waterproof connector, into this box, there we go, and wire up to these two lights, which then screw into this cover. And these are the two lights that would be pointed out. So I think that's all gonna work just fine. I'll end up having to cut the conduit to length <clears throat> and use a, a short piece of Romex or a, um, 14 gauge uh, white and black and ground. So there's three wires in there, but they call it 14-2 two, two because there's two live wires. It looks like this, by the way. So we'll have a piece of that running between the two of them wired in here and then wired in there. And just for those who are interested, this bottom part here is what's commonly known as a junction box or a J-box. And that as long as the wires are connected inside one of these, it should be just fine. Let me show you up top here. So this, this here is the J-box on the outside. In this case, it's a square one, which is fine. You can see the round impression of the previous um, light installation. So that's really what we're going to end up doing is mounting that first one here, the second one over here. This one points down at the deck. And those point out at the yard over there. All right, let's get started on that. So one other thing to add is that I'm attempting to make all these as waterproof as possible. Each one of these um, has uh, rubber gaskets that can be used um, and will be used to seal up. I'm sorry, I gotta show you the rubber gasket like this here uh, and this one back here. They'll be used to seal some of these surfaces in here, but to seal up where these lights go through the cover, like in here, I use Teflon tape 
to make that as watertight as possible. So even though these are all hanging under the eaves, even though they're hanging under the eaves, which is sort of protected, it is outside and it does have a, a, a reasonable and more amount of moisture possible. So we'll end up trying to waterproof as many of these joints as we can. All right. All right, just a little technical note for this particular box. This is the one that's going to have these two, that one and that one screwed into it. Not this fixture, but this one. <coughs> they supply you a lot of these these little things that are basically they're plugs. And the intent is that you are going to now seal this box up completely so no water can get in here. But they do give you a lot of holes that you can put things through various configurations. So I've already put the, the little um, covers or the little plugs in, in these three holes. And I'm going to put one back here and that'll be this one. And what I've done just to make sure that it's really sealed up is I've put Teflon tape on the threads. Um, it's a little fussy, but it's kind of, I think it's nice to be able to make sure that everything's watertight. All right, so anytime I'm doing wiring and I'm having to hang it from the ceiling, which is a lot of times, I try to get everything ready before I get up there. So in this case, this is the light where the main wire will come in. That'll hook this is where this wire will come off of, but the main wire will hook these two what lights up, this one, this one, and this is the wire that comes down, out, and will come over to this box that will supply these two. And this is the conduit. So I have it all laid out here, kind of like a big puzzle. And now I want to get these ready by getting them all into the right you know, configuration, so the whites and whites and blacks and blacks. And then when I get up there, I just have to, have to put two wire nuts on and screw it on there. That would be ideal. And then I will measure the conduit. Then I'll get it hooked on to this one. Then I'll put that one up there, hook it on, screw it onto the ceiling or up into the under the eaves. And then we'll finally install that one. All right, so we're ready to go, and we have everything all ready to get just wired up in there. Should be at least. But this is the tricky bit. <laughs> you need four hands to do this kind of thing because you got to hold it up there and wire nuts on. Anyhow, I won't bore you with all that. I'll go ahead and get that done and show you what it looks like. All right, so I got all these wired up. There's one, two, three, white, black, and ground, but there's just a lot of wires. So those will all get pushed up into that box and we'll get that sorted out. There it is all screwed up, wires all in place. I'll put a, uh, a little bit of caulking around there, even though that rubber gasket should seal it, but that'll just be another layer. So now we're gonna put this conduit on here and measure out to where the other one's going to mount which is out here all right so there's the conduit cut and in place now i had to do something down here that i hadn't realized but there's a one inch gap because this comes off at this point and matches up to that box there so i had to cut out around and yeah these can show up here but when you're down on the deck i doubt you can see any of that so i'll give this a little bit of uh, a coat of paint get it white get these white and you won't notice a thing so it's all good. All good. So now we got to just, oops, got to get that mounted and we're pretty much done. All right, so there it is all installed. So those lights, like I said, point out to the yard area out here. And these lights point down the deck. So let's go ahead and turn them on. Well, here we are They're at night. So we can see how well the deck is lit. Yeah, it's doing good. All my junk there I gotta put away. And then out in the yard, it looks pretty well lit too. Yeah. Yeah, good. All right, we'll call that project a, a win, and we're done with that. So, good luck with putting your lights up, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!